Hello everybody, Hoodie Cobra Commander 788 here. In this box is the 1988 G.I. Joe AGP, the anti-gravity pod from Destro's Iron Grenadiers. Uh, and all the parts are in here, it is unassembled. So I'm actually going to assemble this on camera. So we're gonna go through this together. Uh, some of the parts are still on the trees, on the plastic trees that they came in when you first took them out of the retail uh, box. Uh, some have been removed, but I believe all the parts are here, including the sticker sheet. So let's go ahead and assemble this vintage vehicle together. I think we're going to have fun with that. Uh, I've enjoyed these assembly videos. I hope you have too. Uh, and this is my really my first look at the AGP. I did not have this toy when it was originally released. I had not picked one up as an adult collector. I wanted to get one because I think this is the only... Um, uh, Iron Grenadier's vehicle from 1988 that I didn't have. Uh, so now I have it. Uh, let's put it together and see if all the parts are there and see what it looks like fully assembled. Okay, first things first. I have the tools that I think I will need to assemble it. Um, I have my clipboard here uh, just to use as a flat surface uh, in case I need to cut something I don't want to cut my table. So uh, let's go ahead and take the parts out of the box. Uh, we have a canopy. Um, we have, uh, looks like some fins, uh, we have, looks like half of the main body of the vehicle, and the other half. Um, we've got a bag of parts that have come off the tree, uh, or were taken off, um, so well, hopefully all those are uh, what we need. Uh, we've got one part here, a gold part that is just barely hanging on the plastic tree, um, so that hardly even seems worth cutting off. I can just kind of pluck it off. So there's our first part that we've taken off of the plastic tree. Um, there is an empty plastic tree for the other parts that are in the plastic bag. Uh, of course, the blueprints. And in here, we have a sticker sheet. So, very good. Uh, one of my favorite parts of doing these assemblies is putting the stickers on. Uh, we have um, a seat for the cockpit. Uh, looks like we have the, the pods, uh, like the propulsion pods. Uh, those are still on the tree, and I think that's it. Oh yes, that it is. That's it. So let's set aside the box and let's start um, by looking at the instructions. It's always a good idea to start with the instructions first, setting aside the sticker sheet. Um, and let's see, what is step one? Step one is very simple. Uh, we take these two halves of the main body. Let's move these guys out of the way. Uh, take these two halves of the main body and um, in them we place this um, pilot seat. Let's see, how does that go? That goes uh, like, oh I see, it's got a little, um, yeah it's got a place right there that will fit, yeah. Let me make sure I'm doing it right, make sure it's lined up, uh, let's see. Not as easy as it looks. It helps if I put the seat in right side up. Uh, it has a hole right through there, and that should fit. Yeah, right in there, perfectly. It works great if you do it right and follow the instructions. So we just kind of make a sandwich um, with the main body. I'm trying to do this where you can see it. The main body and the seat. Uh, let's see, and that clips in like so. If I line it up right. Uh, Let's see, that is not lined up right. Okay, all right. Always is the struggle with these assemblies. None of them can just be easy. And lining things up properly seems to be what I have the most struggle with. Um, but that looks close to right. The way the instructions show it, it's like you just mash these two pieces together and it just uh, slides on very easily, but um, that is not the case. There's actually quite a lot to line up uh, with just these two uh, main body pieces. And it looks like I do finally have it lined up. Um, and it's, yeah, it's snapped together. Everything looks fine, but uh, that was not all that easy. That's just step one. What do we do with step two? Step two, we have the stabilizer wing. Which way does it go? Looks like it goes that way. Uh, and that just slides on. Let's see, like this, oh, hold on, uh, okay, another thing that is has got to be lined up just so to get it to work properly. 
Okay, this stabilizer wing really is tight. I mean, it'll go on, but um, it's made of a slightly softer plastic than the main body, and that's a good thing. Otherwise, this thing would be too brittle, and that would just snap. Um, I don't think I got that right. i got to back it out a little bit. Line it up and slide that in. Uh, and it is quite tight. I want to do this without breaking anything. Uh, but I tell you, it sure does not want to go. Okay, all right. Yeah, all right, it went, but not easily. So this thing is already kind of tough to assemble. Um, all right, uh, oh, and also in step two, we have the, um, the canopy. Uh, it has a couple holes here, and this canopy is supposed to slide up in there um, and go in those holes. Or actually, I guess it doesn't slide in there. I guess we can pry that apart slightly. There we go. Hey, the one thing that went easily. Is it lined up right? Yes, it is. Okay, well, kind of. Uh, it doesn't close very well. All right. Make sure this is working properly. I mean, it's on the way it's supposed to go. Yeah, all right, it closes. Okay, good. Okay, that part's on. Next, um, step three, we put, oh, this rudder that's in this bag here. Uh, let's see. There we go. This rudder goes in here. So, which way does it go? It goes this way up. And we got a couple teeth here. I don't like that design. Uh, that puts a lot of strain on these teeth, and if they um, get too much pressure, they will just they'll snap. And once if one of them snaps, uh, this won't won't stay on. So let's try to do it and put as little pressure on those teeth as possible. Come on now, go in. There. Okay, it's on, and it did not break. I have yet to break one of these vehicles while assembling it, uh, so I'm very proud of that fact. There we go. All right. And the canopy's still working fine. Uh, and it says to go ahead and put the missiles on. So we have four missiles, um, and they go, how do they go? Uh, they go on the top here. Uh, pretty standard looking missiles. But naturally, they don't want to fit very easily. Uh, let's see, there. There's one. Uh, another one on the end here. And I'm, I'm trying to do it so you can see it, but it's hard to fit these on without them facing me. So let's try. Let's see, there we go. Line it up. Oh, man, these missiles don't like to stay on. Something I will note in my review. I mean, they stay on once you get them pressed on well enough, but the slots for them is actually quite narrow. Um, so lining them up is not not easy. Uh, okay, about got it. Come on, there we go. Alright, now, four missiles on. Yay, okay. Uh, now we are to put the guns on. Uh, there's one, there's the other one, and they fit uh, on either side of the fuselage. Um, and wait, which way do they go? Um, let's see. Uh, yes, that's this is correct based on the instruction sheet, so uh, I believe they just press on. Uh, ah, yeah, I can see where they click on. Yeah, perfect. Other side. Okay, come on. Get in there. There we go. Alright, both are on and I managed to knock off a missile while I was doing that. Alright. Now some things I do like about this vehicle, um, it is in those classic Iron Grenadiers colors. They didn't go uh, with any crazy color scheme with this one. They uh, gave us that classic uh, Iron Grenadiers uh, black, red, and gold, and that's how I like it. Um, Alright, so the guns are on. Um, Missiles are on. Uh, what do we do next? Now we have to assemble uh, these um, 
engine nozzles, uh, as the blueprints call them. All right, I'm gonna have to cut these off the tree, so I don't wanna cut my table. So I'm gonna use this and my knife here. Let's see. And let's trim this carefully there. There. All right. Get that part off. There. Oops. As a kid, I don't remember ever cutting these off. I think I just kind of twisted them until I pulled them off. But we'll try to be a little more a little more precise as adults. All right. Now Carefully trim that off. There we go. There. 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 All right. Okay. Now, these are now free from their plastic prisons, and we can assemble them. Let's check the instructions again. Now, I just love doing this. Uh, I think this was one of my favorite things about uh, getting G.I. Joe as a kid uh, was putting the vehicles together. It was genius. Genius to have these uh, vehicles assembled by, uh, by the kids. Um, let's see. So, okay, I see. There's a left and a right. They are not the same. Uh, there's the left inside. There's the left outside. So I should be able to, let's see. Put these together, how do they go together? Uh, they go this way it looks like. Let me make sure. It doesn't seem right because I picked up the wrong one. Uh, that's the left one, uh, and that's left. Okay, and that makes a whole lot more sense. Okay, all right. Um, there. Should just press together. Of course, it can't be easy. No, nothing can be easy. I'll give you that idea. We don't do anything easy. Okay, uh, it's got a, um, tabs and holes that have to be lined up. And that, it's a little bit difficult to do because you can't see them once you put them together. So I got one tab here that's not wanting to line up. Close though. If you keep working with it though, it does snap together. So, all right, there's one. That's the left side. Now the right side. If I can tell my left from my right, uh, let's put this one together. Should line up very much the same. Um, and you do have to press it a bit to make sure it clicks together. Learned that from the other side. All right. It looks like it's not going to fit, but you just have to keep pressing until it snaps on. Okay, so uh, that's it. Now I think we just have to put these um, on the AGP. All right, this is the last step, and I'm double checking to make sure I put these on the right side, the correct side. Uh, all right, like so. Oh, I see. They kind of click together, don't they? All right, that's how they turn simultaneously. All right, very clever. So, uh, let's see. Let's get, if these line up, they should snap together. Uh, of course, I got to do it right. Helps if I do it right. Oh, yeah, that's it. It worked. It worked. All right. That is, and these should now, yeah, they tilt together. Excellent. Um, that is an assembled AGP. Uh, so now, the really fun part, let's put the stickers on. I would like to thank everyone for watching. Um, it's a special thrill for me to be able to do this every week. Uh, and um, the response from you guys has been really overwhelmingly positive. So thank you. Um, and I hope you enjoy doing this with me because this is one of my favorite activities. Um, and I appreciate doing that with you. Uh, so, okay. Now we have, okay, number two. Okay, number two is the black Destro symbol, and that goes on the uh, engines. And then we have a gold Destro emblem there, and that goes underneath. Um, so we just wanted to make sure we're clear about that. Let's try to get this good and straight. 
That's good. Back when I was um, working at a, a used bookstore many years ago, um, in my early, early 20s, um, we used to have a guy that came in and he was, um, uh, he was, um, he was a family member of the guy that owned the store. Um, and he would do odd jobs, like uh, when uh, we needed new bookshelves built, he would put them together. And I always help him, I always liked it. Um, um, the guy's name was Sandy. He was just an old dude. Uh, and Sandy always had a his little saying every time he put one of those bookshelves together he'd say that's good enough for the girls I go out with that was Sandy and everything everything that he did was just it was might not be perfect but uh, it was good enough for the girls that he goes out with uh, let's see um, yeah one, there we go he was also always getting into his uh, cough medicine before working every day, you know, just help him get him through the day. I miss Sandy. I uh, heard a few years ago that Sandy passed away. He was pretty old when I knew him, and that was uh, a couple decades ago. But uh, I always had fun building bookcases with Sandy and uh, getting them all, you know, close enough. <laughs> close enough. Wouldn't say those bookcases are perfect, but you know what? They're still there in that bookstore. They, they're still standing. All right. So we've got a couple of numbers, some high-tech uh, digital type numbers, and those just go on the, on the pods, on the engine pods, like that. And one more. Like that. There we go. And last sticker, uh, the last sticker is the instrument panel for inside. So I'm going to lift the canopy and hopefully that'll stay up for me for a minute. A uh, pretty simple looking instrument panel. Not too impressive. But it'll add a little bit of color for to our cockpit and that just fits right there. Let's try to get that nice and straight. So when I review this toy and I get a close-up of these stickers and if they're not ni nice and straight you can all make comments and make fun of me that I can't get the sticker straight. Um, that is good enough. That's uh, good enough for the girls I go out with. There we go. There we go. The Assembled. Destro's Iron Grenadiers Anti-Gravity Pod from 1988. Not with the driver, still got to get the driver. Uh, but this baby is complete and about as mint as you can get. That was my assembly video for this uh, Anti-Gravity Pod and um, it's not exactly an unboxing because I didn't have the vintage box that it came in. But all the parts were there, um, all the parts were in perfect condition. Uh, it was a little bit of a struggle, but we did get this thing together. Uh, I've really enjoyed these assembly videos. I hope you have too. I'll try to do more of them uh, as the opportunity arises. arises. Um, uh, it's not often that we get to assemble a vintage vehicle like this, be the first person to assemble it. Um, and so that's kind of special, and that uh, certainly is... Uh, brings back a lot of memories for me, um, and I hope you like it too. So thanks for watching, and thanks for tuning in every week to see uh, Vintage G.I. Joe Toy Reviews. I'll have another one coming up for you soon, and I'll see you then.